Hey, Vito. Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. I guess you know Clemente's dead, along with everybody else. Listen, Vito, I know Falcone had something to do with this. And I'm worried that he's gonna want to take out what's left of the family. And I should care about this one? <laughs> well, yeah, look, about you going away. I'm sorry for what Clemente did to you. But he got what was coming to him, right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. Matter of fact, I'd work for Falcone just the same. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought... Uh, maybe you think you could put in a good word for me yeah sure me and Joe can vouch for you thanks Vito I owe you one so uh how's life you mean before or after half the guys I know got killed that business at the hotel you wouldn't know anything about that would you got no idea What you talking about? That's funny, because a buddy of Joe's got popped in the parking lot that day. So I just figured you two in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive. Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss that day. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time, get a better disguise than a phony fucking mustache. I saw you two pricks from a mile away. You know what? Can we please not talk about this right now? Forever again? Don't worry about it. In pursuit of a speeding though. vehicle! Copy that. You ever get the feeling you'd be better off in a different line of work? To be honest with you... Not really. This is what I am. What I'm good at. Yeah. And I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? Thanks. You came to see me and not Joe. Look, uh, Joe's solid. But I wouldn't exactly want him speaking on my behalf. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. Hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right. A guy I know who worked for Clemente called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clemente's guys or not. Oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point, unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? Was he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clemente. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay, tell him to stop by. <laughs> well, uh, he's here right now. <laughs> he is? <laughs> All right. Go get him, then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa.
Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. Now take a seat, Henry. So, Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clementi and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. Dead bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. No, we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. Now, I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the can. Yeah, I understand. Well, looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it, don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay, you better get going in. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody'll know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later, Eddie. See ya. Goodbye, Mr. Scaletta. Pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Roger that.
Leo! Leo, you here? How the hell did you get in here? Get out of here! Oh, shut the Leo, Leo, up, put you. it away! It's me, Vito! Vito? What the hell are you doing here? You could have called Leo, us. there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here. Quick, they're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? Oh, I want a drink. What the fuck is wrong with okay, you? Okay, so what's happening? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out what? of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clemente lied and said he was in a dope business. Lied? Vito, Carlo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know all this? I got my sources. Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you! Stop talking, for Christ's sake. Get dressed and let's go! Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage? They don't know we're expecting. I can't do that. I know the guy. I'm actually the one who got him the job. What? You hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late. They're here. Oh, shit. Henry can't see me here. We gotta hide. Quick, before he comes up here. Get easy, Henry. Put the gun down and send the guys away. I'm gonna explain everything. Boys, wait for me outside. If I don't come out in a few minutes, come looking for me. Take a seat. What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. Look, I didn't know anyone was gonna put a contract out on him. I had to warn him, you gotta understand. Yeah, but you gotta understand that I can't afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone will think I fucked him on purpose and I'll have me killed. Damn it, Henry, I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. And if I screw up, I'm done. I can't let him go. I took a contract and I gotta finish the job. If you don't wanna watch, you can leave. And don't worry about me. Me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Look, Leo told me that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Rito, thanks for everything. But leave us now. I've had a long, good life. And it's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's gotta be a way. Rito. Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. Well, first, let's get out of here before your friend changes his mind. Central Radio News, this is right Okay, Vito. Hey, now, get me over to the train station, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, this town's been good to me. Now it's time to say goodbye. You gonna go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. You, uh, gonna tell Frank what happened? Sure I am. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You're gonna have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Leo. You know, this whole thing got complicated real fast, you know? Of course it did. What did you expect? You swear the oath to put on a fancy suit and then it's one big party? Carlo's always been a shady bastard. Even for guys in this business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. I'm gonna take the first train to Lost Heaven. Make a few phone calls, settle my affairs. Then I'm gonna head for the airport. I'm gonna go someplace warm. 
This time tomorrow, I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere, sipping one of them fruity drinks with the umbrella in them. One thing's for sure. Carlo wants me dead, and sticking around here is like buying a one-way ticket to the morgue. Isn't that a little drastic? No, I've been meaning to retire anyway. When you get to be my age, Vito, then all this squabbling starts to seem a little pointless. Frank's never gonna change. He's a brawler. Nowadays, he just listens to the young hotheads because they tell him what he wants to hear. If he wants to be some kind of wise guy sheriff and go after Carlo, then he can do it without me. I'm just sorry I got you into this mess. All right, here it is. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never going to be as stupid as you were today, risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Enjoy your vacation, old man. Frankie, what, what are you doing here? Vito, I don't know what to do. I can't go back home. I don't want to see him ever again. Oh, what happened? See who? Eric! Your husband, why? He, he drinks and he parties all the time. Whoa, whoa, and he... does he hit you? No, but he's seeing somebody. I know he is. Does he hit you? Sometimes. Son of a bitch, I'll kill him. No, Vito, please don't hurt him. I just thought you could talk to him. He'll listen Where to is you. Where is he? I don't know. He has a friend who lives on, on River Street. That's okay, usually okay. where right. he is. It's gonna be all right. All right, listen. Hey, hey. When you feel better, you go on home. I'll talk to Eric. That bastard doesn't come back today and apologize. You call me, but don't worry. I have a feeling he will. Okay, Vito. But please don't hurt him. Please. Don't worry. I'll go talk some sense into him, okay?
Eric. Eric, what the fuck you think you're doing? I'm busy here, okay? Get lost. I think you should be busy taking care of your wife, asshole. I'll teach you to hit a woman. Consider this a warning. You touch my sister again, I will fucking kill you. All right? Yeah. From now on, you're gonna stay home, stay off the dope, stop the drinking, and make sure she's fucking happy. If I ever, ever hear she's not happy, I'll find you and finish the fucking job. You got yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, everybody, party's over. And there won't be any more partying with this guy again, ever. Unless you want me to come back and do the same to the rest of you, got it? Watch the place! Do it! Now! Born! <laughs> you dago cunt! Born! <laughs> My house! Fuck!
Watch the place! Do it! Now! Born! <laughs> you Dago cunt! Born! <laughs> My house! Fuck! Born! <laughs> you Dago cunt! Born! <laughs> My house! Fuck! <clears throat>
Joe, don't tell me you're not home. Let's go. You better not be passed out. Come on! All your horses. Coming, I'm coming. What were you, barbecuing in your underwears? Yeah. Can I come in? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course. I'll fix you a drink. What the fuck? Nice, ain't it? What the hell happened to this place? I spruced the giant up a little. What do you think? Yeah, it's really, uh... different. Yeah, huh? I decorated it myself. So what the hell happened? Here, take this. Those crazy fucking mix. What about them? What'd they do? They tried to fucking kill me. What? And they burned my fucking house down. Son of a bitch. So what are you gonna do? You wanna go deal with the mix right now? Damn right I do. All right, relax. Have a drink. Let me make a few phone calls. And, uh, take a look at my closet. Unless you wanna go on a rampage in your skivvies. Thanks. Thought you'd never ask. Hey, it's Joe. Yeah, I know, I know. But I need a favor. A bunch of mix try to kill a good friend of mine tonight. Point this house down. I want to know who they are and where they're operating out of. Hey, you're gonna have a lot worse to worry about if you don't tell me. Mickey Desmond. 
Oh, oh, he is. Well, that explains it. Where is he now? Yeah, yeah, I know the place. All right, thanks. Where are we going? The Hill of Tara, the Mick joint in Kingston. Come on, I'll tell you the rest in the car. Come on, get in. All right. So you heard anything about the Mix lately? Nah, nothing. Why? The Mix got themselves a new boss. Name's Mickey Desmond. There's a few other guys who want to take the spot. So he's trying to show everybody that he means business. What the hell does that have to do with me? Brian O'Neill. He was Desmond's cousin. Ah, I should have known. My money's on him being down at that shithole joint right now. Laughing it up with the rest of those fucking yo-yos. So let's get over there and deal with him. That's the plan. Sounds like there ain't many of them left, so I guess we should just storm the place, surprise the shit out of them. I like this plan. Assholes burnt my fucking house down. Relax, we'll be there in a minute. Pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Ten four. This is the Indianapolis Speedway. Take it easy, I'm in a rush. Ready, Vito? Come on, let's go get these fucks. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. I'm going in. What are you scared, asshole? I told you. I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. 
And when I do, you were the one who ran away, asshole. Fuck. You. You've got some balls. Yes, I do. What are you scared, asshole? Come on, think of something. Hurry up here. Back me up, Vito. Way to go, Vito. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. I amaze myself. I'm gonna get you sooner or later. Hey, there's more of them in that car. Let's go to getting away. All right, come on, you drive. Come on, Vito, faster. We're gonna lose him. Ah, shit, we lost him. Ah, come on, let's just get out of here. Fine, I need a drink anyway. Well, that takes care of that, huh? Yeah, but it don't give me my house back. Don't worry. Business is looking good. You'll have to cash for a new one real soon. Yeah, I sure so hope so. All right, let's go back home. So it's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I can do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're for Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of it right now for his mother. So, uh, you might as well use it while I do. Thanks. I guess. Don't thank me, buddy. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, I just bought the thing. I don't want you lousing it up. Marty's apartment's over in Oyster Bay. So you feel better now? Not really. What we did back there doesn't even start to make up for it. Hey, all that stuff that got pointed up, it's just things, Vito. Just things? Hey, those were my things, Joe. And why do you think I do the shit we do anyway? It's to buy things. You know, suits, cars, broads, houses. Now I'm back to scratch. And all my damn cash was in that house, too. I promised myself I'd never be poor again. A fucking wharf rat like my old man. Hey, hey, I understand. Don't worry, we'll think of something. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Glass is always fucking half full with you, isn't it? I told you, I ch lost him. The coward ran away, but I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. Fuck. You. You've got some balls. Yes, I do. Come on, think of something. Hurry up here. I wouldn't want to get on your bad side. You're fucking dead! I'm the best. Show yourself. Hey, there's more of them in that car. Let's go to getting away. All right, come on, you drive. 
I got a Caucasian male carrying a hand. 10 4. Take it easy, will you? Takes care of that. It's fucking over! Stupid fucks. Back me up, Vito. Shot me. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. I'm the best. Takes care of that, huh? Yeah, but don't give me my house back. Don't worry. Business is looking good. You'll have to cash for a new one real soon. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. All right, let's go back home. So it's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I can do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're for Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of it right now for his mother. So uh, you might as well use it while I do. Thanks. I guess. Don't thank me, buddy. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, I just bought the thing. I don't want you lousing it up. Marty's apartment's over in Oyster Bay. So you Suspect feel is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Dark hair doesn't even start to make up for it. Hey, all that Copy stuff that got pointed up is just things, Vito. Just things? Hey, those are my things, Joe. What do you think I do to shit we do anyway? It's to buy things. Like suits, cars, broads, houses. I'm back to scratch. And all my damn cash was in that house, too. I lose myself.
I told you. I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, asshole. Oh, fuck. You. You've got some balls. Yes, I do. What are you scared, oh. asshole? Oh. 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 Let's go, Vito. They did you that in the army? Back me up, Vito. I amazed myself. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. I'll get you sooner or later. Away. All right, come on, you drive. Got some nut job here shooting a gun. Copy that. Go back home. It's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I can do one better than that. This guy's a maniac! We gotta take him down! For Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of him for his mother. So, Use extreme uh, caution! Use well, of Thanks. automatic weapons is authorized! I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. Fuck. You... You've got some balls. Yes, I do. Going in! Oh, it is. Oh, shot me. I told you. I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. Fuck. You... You've got some balls. Yes, I do. Going in! Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. You're fucking dead! Let's go! Chop, chop! I'm gonna get- 
get you sooner or later. Hey. More than you thought. Let's go to get in the way. All right, come on, you drive. Caucasian male carried a large firearm. Faster, we're gonna lose him. Copy that. Got some nut job here shooting a gun. Huh? What are you trying to kill us? Hey, relax, will you? Come on, Vito. Faster, we're gonna lose him. Fucking rat. Well, that takes care of that, huh? Yeah, but don't give me my house back. Don't worry. Business is looking good. You'll have to cash for a new one real soon. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. All right. Let's go back home. So it's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I can do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're for Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of it right now for his mother. So, uh, you might as well use it while I do. Thanks. I guess. Don't thank me, buddy. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, I just bought the thing. I don't want you lousing it up. Marty's apartment's over in Oyster Bay. So you feel better now? Not really. What we did back there doesn't even start to make up for it. Hey, all that stuff that got pointed up is just things, Vito. Just things? Hey, those were my things, Joe. What do you think I do to shit we do anyway? It's to buy things. You know, suits, cars, broads, houses. Now I'm back to scratch. And all my damn cash was in that house, too. I promised myself I'd never be poor again. And that will fuck a wharf rat like my old man. Hey, hey, I understand. Don't worry, we'll think of something. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Glass is always fucking half full of you, isn't it? This is the Indianapolis Speedway. Take it easy, I'm in a rush. Okay, I'll see you around, I guess. See you, buddy. Sorry about tonight.
a fucking dump. God, I wish I had the cash for a hotel. Fuck, this is creepy. My house burned to the ground, along with almost every penny I had. There was even some trouble with the cops, but Eddie took care of that. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment till I could get back on my feet. At least I managed to save Leo. He disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed to deliver on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. Hey. Listen, I'm setting up something big. I want you to come in on it. If you're interested in hearing more, come meet me at Lincoln Park and bring a piece. Okay. I'll see you there. Hey, here he comes. Hey! What's up? Hey, Vito. Take a seat. All right, listen. I've been doing some research into Carlo's business. So? So, the only reason he had Clemente killed was because he was selling dope, too. And he was stealing his customers. Now he just needs to get rid of one last obstacle. The one guy who could fuck things up and ruin his plan to become the main supplier for the whole city. Frank Vinci. Where'd you get all this? I talked to a few people I trust. Okay, so what does this have to do with us? Of course, if he can do it, why can't we? A kilo of heroin costs 25 Here. And? And we pick up 11 grand for just driving the stuff to the dealers. That's 7,500 bucks profit a hmm. kilo. Yeah, but what about Falcon? Carlo won't find out. And even if he does, he'll just threaten us and demand the cut. All right, but if Carlo's the only big supplier in the city, where are you going to buy the stuff from? I'm way ahead of you. What do you two know about the Tongs? The Chinks? Some kind of organization for Chinese immigrants, right? That's what I said, the Chinks. Right, but it's also a front for their other operations. They run the Chinese quarter, and they keep to themselves. But some of them are interested in doing business with outsiders, and they need middlemen since most people are afraid to deal with them. And we're the middlemen. Yep. They'll give us 10 kilos to start. For how much? 35 grand. And we can sell it for... 110. 
Nice. Okay, well, where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 35 grand? I know a loan shark, the id over on Palisade. I think a loan is 35, we give him 45 back. Now that means our take is over 20 grand a piece. Not bad for just moving the shit from one place to another. But you know, who's gonna end up using this crap? What do you care? As long as it isn't an outlet. Because Vinci was right. Drugs are bad news, they kill people. Look, only idiots do drugs. Deadbeats and losers. If they want to kill themselves so badly, I'd gladly help them out. Especially for 20 grand. I got buyers in the ghetto. They'll take care of the distribution. So we don't need to worry about that. Are you guys in or not? I'm in. Come on, don't be stupid, Vito. 20 fucking grand in one afternoon. <sighs> when? Right now. If we don't take the offer, the towns will just find somebody else. Come on, Vito. It'll be a piece of cake. Let's go see Bruno then. Vito, how about you want us all down there? He's on Palisade Street. Okay, let's go. Get the fuck out! Look out! So who's this guy we're gonna see, Henry? His name's Bruno. He's one of the only guys in town who could do a loan this big. What if he doesn't give it to us, then what? Then the deal's off. But don't worry, I know this guy. He'll give us the money. There ain't nobody else we can get this kind of money from? There's three of the guys I know of. But if you want to ask Carlo or Frank Vinci for 35 grand, be my guest. Yeah, no thanks. Who's the third guy? He ain't in business no more. Somebody blew up a room full of his guys and shot him point blank in the face with a Tommy gun. Oh, that guy. Come on, we said we wasn't gonna talk about that. All right, so, Henry, what is this guy, rich or something? I think he gets his money from some of the bosses from out of town who sit on the commission. Yeah? Oh, shit. Yeah, which is why we can't stiff the guy. Besides, we gotta keep this quiet. Can we trust him? Sure. Wise guy's been borrowing money from this guy forever. As long as we pay him back on time, we won't have a problem. Hey, genius. Red light means stop. Okay, this is it. Stop here. Hi, fellas. We're here to see Bruno. Hiya, Henry. If you got guns on you, put them down there. I gotta search you. Hiya, Bruno. Hello, Henry. So, to what do I owe the pleasure of your company today? I need 35 grand in $20 bills. Oh, that's a lot of money, Henry. A lot of money. Tell me, why should I give that much to a small-time guy like you, huh? Convince me. I got a sure thing. You'll have 45 by the end of the week. What kind of sure thing? Sorry, Bruno. That's a trade secret. Then 45 is not enough. I'd be more comfortable with 65. It's a bit steep, even for you. 50 is all I can do. 
Henry, Henry, I have no guarantee I'll get my money back. And you have nowhere else to go. So? How about 60? Don't think of it as interest. It's more like my cut of the profits. 55. Final offer. Anything more than that, it's not worth my time. Deal. I'll give you $35,000 today, and you'll give me $55,000 by Friday. If you don't pay it back by then, the debt goes up by $10,000 every week. You'll get it by Friday. Okay. Isaac, prepare $35,000 in $20 bills. Now, you know I trust you, Henry, but if you screw me, remember these wise words from the Bible. And my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. Exodus, chapter 22, verse 24. <laughs> I'm impressed. You don't seem like the church-going type. Uh, but just remember, the money isn't mine. So even if you get rid of me, that doesn't get rid of your debt. So no funny business, okay, boys? Sure, Bruno. Thank you, Isaac. You want to count it, Henry? I'll take your word for it, and I'll bring it back on Friday along with your cut. I hope so. Good luck, boys. Nice job, Henry. Of course. I told you give us the dough, didn't I? How come you know the Bible so good, Henry? You read it or something? Bruno always uses the same quote. I go to church on Sunday, so I asked the priest one time. You go to church? <laughs> yeah, and I can understand why you don't. They use big words, there's no hookers, and the food's lousy. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Jeez, I ain't been there since... 45. What? That time your mother made you go to confession? Yeah, that time she smacked me for checking out some chick's coolie. Ah, uh, God rest his soul. How about you, Joe? How long's it been? Easter. Ah, oh, that ain't too bad. 1941. I take that back then. You're going straight to hell. What, you just figuring that out now? Don't worry, I'll save seats for the boat these. You know, I heard about a loan oh. shark named Bruno once. Must be the same guy. Yeah? What'd you hear? Well, you know Mickey the Crab, right? What, the guy who cleans the bathrooms at Carlos joint? Yeah, the guy who's only got a finger and a thumb on his left hand. Guess how that happened? I heard he owed a lot of money to some yid from <coughs> South Pole. Get my drift? Oh, right. I get the picture. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, though. Crab's a moron. Not like that's gonna happen to us. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? Hey, I know how to drive, all right? I know, I know. It sounds insane, but it's apparently true, kids. Because rock and rip bucks never love. Now, that also means when you're getting up from the couch to change the program, because as the folks at Home Electrics are saying... Did you not see that light turn red? switch all three of your television's channels. <laughs> kind of gives new meaning to the term, don't touch that dial. <laughs> For Empire Central Radio News, I'm rocking Ricky Vox. We're almost there. Drive through the gate and into the yard. All right, follow me, fellas, and let me do all the talking. Hey, we got some business with your boss. Follow me, gentlemen. Mr. Wong is expecting you.
Welcome, Henry. Hello, Mr. Wang. Let us get straight to business. Is your suitcase heavy enough? Hell, da! This is a bank loan of 20 yuan Chinese currency, a total of 35,000 yuan. All right, take it away and bring the goods. You're a good man, Henry. Here is your merchandise. Each bag contains one kilo. Each kilo weighs a little more than two pounds. Which one do you want to test? Okay, we're good. I'm glad. Next time, we can give you twice the amount. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Wang. The pleasure was all mine. Knock it off. See how easy that was. Get back in the car. All right, fellas, the hard part's over. Now we just gotta make the exchange, and we're done. Sounds good to me. Where are we headed? Hunters. I got it all lined up. Hello, gentlemen. Fucking setup. I think you have something for us. Drop the suitcases. Hmm. My shoes. Wait a minute! These guys ain't cops. Kill the bastard! Shoot me up! Vito, watch our back. Back me up, Vito. Here comes more of them. Hold on. I got them. Nice, but there's still too many of them. Come on! Ah, oh, shit! Can't go back that way. Run! Move your asses! Get out of there, Vito! Don't just fucking stand here, Vito! Move! Get your ass over here, Vito! You shoot right over there! Vito, watch our back! Stay away from these windows, fellas! Damn it! No sense Take staying down. up here. Let's get down there. Vito, kick the door in. These guys just don't fuck the work. Back me up, Vito. Bullseye. I'll cut you loose. Did you fucking die already? Mine. I'm going to get you sooner or later. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. I'm covering you. Cover my back.
Come on, where are you? Stay sharp, Vito. Hey, I got something for you. That the fucking best you got. Come on, bro. Are you kicking out the army? Let's kill that fucking. Come on, let's get this shit out. I make my shit. We got a chance. Come on, let's go. Chop, chop. This one's mine. Completely. Way to get you. That was fucking close. It's not over yet. They're coming after us. Fuck! Lose them! What was that, Henry? No idea. Somebody else must have known about the deal. Those definitely weren't real cops. Maybe it was the chinks trying to fuck us. I doubt it. Look, I'll figure it out. But first, we gotta unload this stuff. Vito, take us to the old warehouse in Hunters. Alright. Hope this deal goes better than the last one. It will. Not like it can go any worse, right? So who are we selling the stuff to? A bunch of different guys. Oh, whoa, whoa. What do you mean a bunch of different guys? A bunch of different guys. What did all that shooting back there make you deaf? I thought you said we were just moving this garbage from one place to another. Yeah, well, you make a lot more money if you sell it in smaller amounts. Would've been really nice to know before I agreed to go in on this. If I did, from the way you were talking back in the park, you probably wouldn't have. Yeah, exactly. Hey, the best you could hope for right now is to spend the next 30 years of your life breaking your ass for Eddie and Carla before you either get bumped off or end up back in the can. The only time you're ever gonna see cash like this is if you stick your neck out. Besides, I ever steer you wrong. Well, there was the OPA job, and that time we almost got killed when we whacked that fat fucking sand island. All right, all right, enough. None of that matters after today. Let's just get the hunters. And don't worry, we're never gonna have to see these scumbags again after today. Unless this turns into a regular thing for us. Well, all right, let's just concentrate on getting through this one before we go making plans like that, all right? Hey, I'm just saying. Vito's right. Let's just get through the rest of the day. After that, smooth sailing, fellas. Here we are. Let me do the talking. These are tough guys, so no wise-ass comments. All right, Joe.
Hey guys, how you doing? Hey man, come on in. We're not done yet. Lighten up, will you, Henry? What's the matter? All of a sudden, money don't make you happy? After we pay back Bruno and you get your cut, then you can be happy. All right, all right. <laughs> You ain't even gonna give me a tip? You want a tip? I'll give you a tip. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Always the gentleman, <laughs> huh, Joey? Just get the fuck out of here hey, already. Hey, Gina, wanna come join me? Hey, I hope there's room for three in there. Barbaro's Bordello. You got the money, we got the honeys. Vito, it's Henry. We got a problem. What kind of problem? Eddie paid me a visit. Carlo knows about the deal, and he sent Eddie to pick up his cut. Uh, how much? Sixty grand. Fuck, how much? What are we gonna do? I don't know. We don't even have enough left for Bruno. Meet me in the park. I don't want to talk about this over the phone. Okay. I'll be right there. Joe, we gotta go. Now, Joe. I'll tell you on the way. All right. Girls, lock up when you leave. Me and Vito got business. So what the hell's going on? That was Henry on the phone. Carlo found out about the deal. Ah, shh. 
shit. Does he know he was involved? I don't think so. Let's talk about it in the car. Where we headed? Lincoln Park. We meeting Henry there? Yeah. All right, so what did Henry say on the phone? He okay? He sounded okay. But Carlo took his car to the take. Fuck. Just like Henry said he'd do if he found out. Yeah, but now the problem is, we don't even got enough to pay Bruno back. Ah, shit. What the <laughs> hell are we gonna do? I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get to the park. Yeah. Henry will know what to do. Take it easy, will you? Versions to red lights. Empire Central Radio. Hot Rock and Ricky Fox with a quick update on the story. Henry's different these days. The guy's got a real. What the, what the fuck? fuck's going on? <laughs> Shit, that's Henry. <laughs> what the fuck are they hitting him with? Get off me! Ah, get off me! <laughs> Fuck! Who the fuck does something like this, Vito? Them people are fucking sick. Shit! Who the fuck does something like this? Who do you think? God damn it, Henry! Damn it, Henry! Damn it, Henry! Look at this, Vito. You fucking believe this? Ah, the money's gone too. Joe, come on. We gotta get out of here. Cops will take care of him. Hey, that's the old guy who sold us the dope, Wong. All the ways to kill a guy. Goddamn bullet would have been in pursuit enough. of a hit and run Poor driver. They're just sick in the head, Vito. Copy that. Fucking die. All of them. I mean, why do it like that? In pursuit of a speeding in the vehicle. Of clock. Like I said, Ten they're four. sick. I'm gonna turn them into chop fucking suey. Hey, not for nothing. We don't even know how many of them there are. Yeah, and it don't matter. Hey, Henry's dead. What do you want us to get killed Fuck too? Fuck you, sauce. I told you. You're smart, Joe.
to kill a guy. Goddamn bullet would have been enough. These bastards are sick in the head, Vito. They're gonna fucking die. All of them. I mean, why do it like that? And in the middle of the park. Like I said, they're sick. I'm gonna <clears throat> turn them into chop fucking suey. Hey, not for nothing. We don't even know how many of them there are. Yeah, and it don't matter. Henry's dead. What, do you want us to get killed too? Do this smart job. It don't matter how we do it. As long as they're fucking dead when we're done. All right, listen. There's probably more than two of them. So what? The more the fucking merrier. So there's only two of us. Unless maybe you want to call Carlo and tell him all about the mess we're in and ask him to send some guys over here. All right, fine. I get it. All right, so promise me you're not going to go in guns blazing as usual. We got to do this the smart way. All right? Vito, you're getting too close. I know, I know, I can see him too, you know. He's gonna see us, slow down a little. This guy drives like a shit. Never mind. Let's get in there and take him out before he disappears with the money. Hold on, I'm gonna need some serious firepower first. We can either go to Harry, so we can kill these fucks right now. Just say the word. All gentlemen, this place for member only. Here's your fucking membership. God damn it, Joe. Can't you listen to me for once? No, I can't. You've seen what they've done to Henry. God damn it, Joe. See? Why didn't you just bang the damn gong while you were at it? Right you ain't so tough. Come on, Mr. This is for Henry, you bastards. Some of these little bastards for me. Watch out! Oh, They're shooting geez. from up top!
all gentlemen, this place for member only. Is your fucking membership. God damn it, Joe. Can't you listen to me for once? No, I can't. You seen what they done to Henry. God damn it, Joe. You see? Why didn't you just bang the damn guy on my rat? Right down, you fucking uh, wasted. Uh, you going fuck to do dumb work? Watch out! They're shooting from up top! Come on! Who told you ass? Oh, I told you! Show them who they fuck with. Get the guy on the stage. Come up there, we're in the window. That's it, Vito. Oh, Kill them all. Every last one of them. Where the fuck are they all coming from? There must be a tunnel to China around here somewhere. <clears throat> All gentlemen, this place for member only. Is your fucking membership. God damn it, Joe. Can't you listen to me for once? No, I can't. You seen what they done to Henry. God damn it, Joe. See? Why didn't you just bang the damn gong while you were at it? Right down, I'm gonna waste these little fuckers. Get me that guy behind the Let's move up! Get the guy on the stairs! One. Where the fuck are they all coming from? Must be a tunnel to China around here. <laughs> more to go. That's it. Hey, leave some of these little bastards for me. Come on, you little bastards. That's it, Vito. Kill them all. Every last one of them. Watch out. Here comes more of them. Vito, move for Christ's sake!
All right, you go first, Vito. You're a smaller target. Thanks, fat ass. Hey, you said we gotta do the smart, right? I got a tattoo to pieces! Tell your boss I'm coming, fam. Come out to fight like mad. Where the hell is that? He's got to be around here somewhere. Keep going. Mosai's he done? Bingo. All gentlemen, this place for member only. Is your fucking membership. God damn it, Joe. Can't you listen to me for once? No, I can't. You've seen what they done to Henry. God damn it, Joe. You see? Why didn't you just bang the damn gong while you were at it? It's over for you! Let's move up! Get the guy on the stairs! Oh, wait, open! Four more to go, Vito! Say goodnight, Charlie. Where are they all coming from? There must be a tunnel for China around here. Come on, Vito! Waste them all! Oh, Kai, how been Tokai? One more, and we're done. Vito, let's move up!
All right, you go first, Vito. You're a smaller target. Thanks, fat ass. Hey, you said we gotta do this smart, right? Gotta be around here somewhere. Keep going. What I got back there? Don't matter. I got plenty of bullets left. If I'm right, there's three more. Yeah, no, for the coin. Come on, Marco Polo. Let's go, Vito. Get in the elevator. Shh! Be quiet, Vito. Since when are you concerned about making noise? There's too many of them. Just take them out nice and quiet. Just sneak through here.
the best. I won't want to get on your bad side. Quiet, Vito. Since when are you concerned about making noise? There's too many of them. Just take them out nice and quiet. Nice. All right, let's just sneak through here. You shoot like my sister. Come on, think of something. Hurry up here. More of them! Be out of there! I don't know! Side down! You can't wait to dodge me! Quiet, Vito. Just take them out nice and quiet. Nice. All right, let's just sneak through here.
Back me up, Zelo. Man, you're a <laughs> big teacher that the army? Vito. More of them in the elevator. These guys are like fucking cockroaches. Come on, on, Mr. Big Man. What has he done? <laughs> you ain't so tough. See? Ain't so bad so far, right? Yeah, but what if somebody recognizes us and Carlo hears about it? That's why we ain't leaving no witnesses. There's probably more of them down here. Get ready. What the hell are you doing? Get in the elevator. You slanty-eyed fuck! What is it that you want? <laughs> what the fuck do you think we want? We want to know why you had our friend killed. We also want the money you took from him. I had no choice. Your friend was a government informer. What the what? fuck are you talking about? A contact inside the Federal Bureau of Narcotics told me that Henry Tomasino passed them information about our deal. That's a fucking lie! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You saying Henry was a rat? Yes. But not anymore. That's bullshit. Makes no sense. And I suppose you had nothing to do with the little stick-up after we closed the deal with you either, right? You think we would take such a stupid risk and destroy our own factory? That was just another reason to get rid of you. We had problems with you from the very beginning. Oh, yeah? Well, all your problems are just about over, pal. So where's our money? It's not here anymore. What?! Where the hell is it, then? I cannot tell you. If you don't tell us, I'm gonna splatter your yellow brains all over this fucking room! If I told you, I'd be dead anyway. Find your choice! Are you crazy? What you wanna do, let him go or something? We could've gotten more out of him. Fuck that, he wouldn't have said nothing. These bastards are tough. <sighs> Let's just get the hell out of here before the cops come. This place won't be opening up for a while. If we had the time, I'd burn it to the damn ground.
Vito, come here. This should be the way out. Where you going, Vito? That's the way we came in. Come on, Vito, let's get out of here. There's too many of them. Find us a car, quick! This guy's a maniac. We gotta take him down. <clears throat> Copy that. Pack me up, Vito. What are you scared, asshole? Come on, Vito, let's get out of here. There's too many of them. Find this a guy's car. a maniac. Quick. We gotta take him down. Ah, what? Right now. What are you get the fuck out of here. Get him out of your hole, you fucking rat. The suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Ten four. Uh. Uh. Lost him. Take me to my place, Vito. I need a fucking drink. That was, uh... was fucked up, huh? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Just get me back to my place, would you? All right. Slow the fuck down before you get pulled over. Take it easy. I'm in a rush. deal was a total fucking disaster. Tell me about it. Henry's dead. We don't have Bruno's money. We killed half the Tongs. And if they think Carlo sent us, that'll mean war. Psh, we're fucked. Yeah. And if Carlo finds out we got him into this mess... What if Henry really was a rat? No fucking way. Don't even say that. Look, first let's get the money for Bruno. That'll fix at least one problem. But I'm done for today. I need a drink. Call you in the morning. We'll figure this shit out. All right. Okay, I'll see you later. And Vito, be careful.
Vito, you ready? Does it sound like I'm ready? You just woke me up. So get the fuck up. We don't get the money for Bruno today. We're fucked. Where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 55 grand, huh? I don't know. We sure as hell ain't gonna find it laying around in bed. I got something for starters. A job from Eddie with a big payout. No shit. Yeah, I'll pick you up in a few minutes. So get dressed, grab a gun, and wait for me outside. I'll tell you more in the car. This better not be one of your brilliant ideas, Joe. Hey, I'm not in the mood. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to snap at you. I'm still half asleep over here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you in or not? Sure, why not? How long till you get here? I'm calling from the gun shop around the corner. I'll be at your place in a minute. All right, I'll wait for you out back. I'll see you soon. Hey, what's with the fancy wheels? Eddie gave it to us just for this job. Nice, eh? You drive. My head's still pounding from last night. We're going to Greenfield. Guess you hit the sauce pretty hard, too, yeah, huh? Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. Nothing a bottle of scotch couldn't fix, though. Head over to Greenfield. Yeah. You drive like my fucking grandma, do you know that? All right. So now can you tell me what this is all about? We're just gonna drive there, pop some guy, and drive away. Should be a piece of cake. Why? Eddie said it's a favor for some family from another city. Unfinished business. He gave me this envelope with all the instructions. Said it's gotta be clean, and it's gotta be done today. Why the hell doesn't the other family just do it themselves? Eddie said they've been looking for this guy for a while, and they just found him. They're afraid that if it ain't done right away, the guy's gonna disappear again. Here, here's a picture of him. What'd this guy do? Says here he ratted his family out to the feds. Guy's got it coming though now. But wait a minute. If he cooperated with the feds, that means he was under protection, right? What if he still is? He's been a few years. We're getting paid a few grand for the job. So it's more than worth the risk. I have you say so. Hey, we need every penny we can get right now, right? So after we finish this job, we'll split up and look for other work. All right. Says here they want us to give him a message before we do it. Here, here it is. Okay, got it. Hey, if you see Eddie later, not a word about yesterday. We was never there. Last chink we saw was delivering egg food young. You get it? Hey, who do you think I am? Some kind of retard? Jury's still out on that one, pal. Just making sure you don't slip up, that's all. Speedway? Take it easy, I'm in a rush. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Copy that.
Victor Angelo. Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Like I said, is about six feet tall. Dark hair. Maybe a bill. Fucking death shit. Go, Copy go. That. Let's get the fuck out of here. We got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. <clears throat> this is Agent Cox. We need Roger to that. support the green deal. <clears throat> now, goddammit. Those were feds. That asshole really was under protection. That he's fed. <clears throat> convenient leaving out little details. Like Maybe he didn't know. Don't matter now. We gotta lose him. Me up, Vito. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in a... <laughs> DLT Empire Base Delta Radio. I'm Slamming Sammy Stevens. And we have an update to yesterday's shooting at the Red Dragon restaurant in Chinatown. Oh, fuck, that was close. Get me to Kingston, will you? I got a car waiting there. What about the fuck? Hey, I almost Take forgot. I'm in a rush. paid me in advance, so here's your share. Fucking city to come after me. I'm slamming Like I said, about six feet tall, dark hair, so medium look. build. Those guys over there. Shit! Go, go! Let's get the fuck out We got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. This is Agent Cox. Roger that. Please support the green deal. Now, goddammit! Ah. You're fucking dead! Those were <laughs> feds. That asshole really was a... Maybe he didn't know. Don't matter now. We gotta lose him.
Give me to Kingston, will you? I got a car waiting there. What about the money? Hey, I almost forgot. Eddie paid me in advance, so here's your share. Good luck getting your hair for the money. Come by my place when you're done. Okay. I'll see you later.
have to know, Mr. Scaletta. Hey, Vito, just tell me what you need. No license plate. <laughs> For you, no problem. Thanks, Vito. Appreciate the business. Afternoon, Vito. Hey, Vito, just tell me what you need. set of wheels. Take your pick, pal. Pick a color. Any color. Thanks a lot, pal. I appreciate the business. Good afternoon, sir. Only the finest attire for a man such as yourself. Fits you perfect.
Hey. Vito! Hey, thanks for coming by. I knew I could count on you. What for? Frank's organizing a sit-down with the other bosses, and he took almost all my guys as bodyguards. So I don't have nobody around to handle this here job for me. Derek, these guys still don't want to work. What? Why? Because of that dead bitch you fired. Hey. Shit. Well, Vito, that other thing will have to wait. Can you help us out here with this first? What's happening? Well, this deadbeat didn't come to work for a whole week. Pretended he was sick. Total bullshit. So I fired his ass. Anyway, some of his buddies are upset, and they're threatening to strike. All I gotta do is show up with a few guys who look like they mean business. That'll scare them, and they'll forget all about it. I give you a thousand bucks. Are you in? All right. I ain't gonna say no to that kind of money. All right. All you need to do is stand behind me and look tough. Right, Steve? We'll see. These fucking guys really think who the fuck they are. This ain't the first time I have problems with them, you know. You wanna know how many of them there is? Three, four, ten. How the fuck should I know? Does it matter? Oh, no, nah, it's just, uh, what are we gonna do to them? All depends on how the, uh, labor negotiations go. Just let me do all the talking. I don't need just opening your mouths and proving how stunages are. So, what's the problem here, fellas? We want you to give Big John his job back. It's me that decides who gets hired and fired around here. And I say he's fired. All we're asking is for you to hire him back. He's got a family. He needs a job. I've made my decision. See, I told you! Easy does it, Vinny. We want to do this Easy. peacefully. We bust our asses day in and day out for this fat fuck! And if anything ever happens to us, he'll screw us over Blow just like your he voice did now, John. young man. I don't want to hear another word about that fucking dead... Who are you calling a deadbeat? A crate fell on the poor guy while he was working. For you. Broke both his damn hands. Well, that's his fucking problem, not mine. And I suggest you just get back to work before somebody else's hands get you broke. You goddamn bastard! You fellas are really starting to piss me off. There's no need for violence. Please, put it down. We don't want no trouble. It don't look that way to me. Right now, it looks like you got big trouble, don't you? Now, if you all don't want to start looking for new jobs, you'll be back to work in the next ten minutes. You see, Vito, all they do is bitch and moan. Vito? You're Skeletor's boy, ain't you? I, your dad used to talk about you all the time. You look just like him. But what are you doing working for this bastard? After what he did to your old Shut man? Shut your fucking mouth right now. Don't listen to him, Vito. He's full of shit. Come on, let's go. Full of shit, huh? That bastard killed your father, Vito. What? They're just trying to get under your skin, Derek. Hey, stop pointing that gun Why at me. Why don't you ask him how your dad drowned Trap. that night? We seen him take a walk with Steve. And then Steve come back alone. And all wet. Stop pointing that thing at me. What the hell happened with my father, Derek? Are you nuts or what? Who are you gonna trust, me or these now unemployed losers? We've known each other for a long time, Vito. Think of well, all the things. you all wet, Steve? You dive in and try to save him? Because he wouldn't stay underwater. Keep your mouth shut! Vito, you swore an oath. I was there. Our loyalty to the family is greater than to our own families. Tell that to my mother. <sighs> Should I kill him? No, not here. We'll settle things with him later. You disappoint me, Vito. You really do. I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more to disappoint you, Derek. Your dad. Not right now. I gotta get that fuck before he runs away. Time to teach that fat fuck a lesson. Vinny, where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow me, guys. This is crazy, fellas. You shouldn't so be doing this. He's not gonna handle himself.
you're gonna end up just like your old man. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow me, guys. This is crazy, fellas. Some extra fire. We shouldn't be doing this. Let's go. Let's go. We got himself. your back. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow me, guys. This is crazy, fellas. You shouldn't be doing this. So he's not gonna handle himself. Here you go, here you go. We got your back. Feed you to the rats. 
Mistake of your life. What do you think of Vito? You think you could just fucking do something like this and walk away? You're fucked! When we're done with you, I'm gonna feed you to the rats. Could still work this out, Vito. <coughs> Vito, you're making the biggest mistake of your life. <coughs> what do you think of Vito? You think you could just fucking do something like this and walk away? You fuck! When we're done with you, I'm gonna feed you to the rats. What do you think of Vito? You think you could just fucking do something like this and walk away? You fuck! Miss your old man, Vito? Don't worry, you're gonna see him soon. You're gonna die here, Vito! Just like your father! I'd spent my whole life trying not to make the same mistakes my old man did. Then I find out I'm following in his footsteps. It was good to finally know the truth, though. And Derek's death also helped me resolve another problem. like I just found Derek's retirement funds. Hey Vito, we can take things from here. What about the cops? Yeah, they might be a problem, but anyone who saw it will swear we did it in self-defense. You were never here. All right. Good luck then. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. God help you.
Times is every morning and throughout the day. For the latest news and up-to-the-hour information, pick up a copy of the Empire Times, a proud sponsor of this hour of radio on Empire Classic Radio. Kluski and Sons only offers the very best, be it guns or ammo. I loaded these myself in the back. Get out of there!
Get the fuck out. Hey, you, get out. Get the fuck out. Possible stolen vehicle. 10 4. Vehicle theft in progress. In pursuit of suspect. Roger that. Suspect is about 6 feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Copy that. Suspect is about 6 feet tall, dark hair, medium build. After hearing the bank have released their new alternative to paying with cash or check. Six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Run! Copy that. Drop it! Well, maybe we can work this out, you know, without the paperwork. Thanks for the contribution to my retirement fund.
serve you just any beer, but you look like a man who has good taste. That's why I'm going to recommend a master beer. Master beer? Yeah. Try one. <sighs> wow, that is good beer. <laughs> Don't I know it? For a good. Hey, you, get out. Oh, no, he's gonna kill us all! Your couch. That's where Home Electronics Incorporated sees the future of home in as little as five years. They've already gotten you closer by taking you farther away from your television set with the invention of the remote channel changer, the device which weighs up. as far away as five feet from your television set and change the channels without getting up. Home Electronics says that soon you will also be able to control the volume too. In the meantime, they're working on a version that isn't tethered by a wire. Watching the Stan Penny Hour never felt so liberating. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Bob Berryman. Empire Classic Radio. Yesterday's hits just like you remember them. ECLA. Joe wasn't home. At first I thought he was just running a little late, so I went to grab something to eat. Two hours later, Joe still wasn't home. It was getting dark, and I was getting worried. I had to go look for him. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon.
Vito, good, you're here. You, uh, you hear what happened? Wow, what's going on? Henry's dead. What? The fucking chinks hacked him to death in broad daylight. Wh why So you don't know anything about it. Well, uh, Henry wanted to bring me in on some deal, but I passed. What happened? Yeah, well, Henry is, well, was stupid. He was dealing dope with the tongs. He knew this was off limits and he got caught. Carlo let him off with a small fine and told him he'd forget about it. But the chinks double-crossed Henry and hacked him to pieces in the middle of the park. Shit. Ain't no doing business with the yellow man. But there's worse. Henry wasn't working alone. Yesterday, some guys massacred a shitload of the chinks over in Chinatown. Now they figure it must have either been us or Vinci. They already started threatening Vinci. If this don't get settled fast, we're all in deep shit. You sure you don't know nothing about it? Not a thing, Eddie, I swear. Yeah? How about Joe? Joe? Joe was with me last couple days. Well, you're lucky then. Carlo's out of town right now, but when he gets back, <laughs> it ain't gonna be pretty. No shit. You better not be shitting me, Vito. Let's try Giuseppe next. He keeps his ear to the ground. Hey, Giuseppe, I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. Was he here today? Ah, no, Vito. Yeah, Joe came by today. Great, I've been looking for him the whole day. Did he say where he was heading? Well, no, he didn't. I don't think he knew himself. How come? Well, he was looking for a job, but before we managed to finish our conversation, a few guys came and took him away. What? Who? It was Vinci's people. They said Mr. Vinci wanted a word with him. You know where they would have went? No, lo so. Maybe to the bar, the Mona Lisa. Shit. Is there something wrong? Not sure. Let's just say we're not on the best of terms with Mr. Vinci these days. Yeah, Joe didn't look too happy. I got a bad feeling about this. I better go find out what's going on. I hope it's nothing serious. Buona fortuna, Vito. Buon pomeriggio. Anything you like, you let me know. I'm sure you'll find a good use for this. I hope I see you again soon, Vito. You're my best customer.
their dining areas. Some even allow you to take the food home to eat in privacy. These meals, called take-home meals, allow you to drive up to a window outfitted with a microphone, place your order to someone inside the building, and then pull up to another window to pick up your food. Completely American idea in every sense of the word. For MRB's news leader, ECLA, I'm Bob. Freeze, and maybe I won't kill you. Hi, fellas. Look at the balls on this guy. Nice to see you, too. Don't move a muscle. Come on. Listen to the friendly bartender and stop fucking around, Vito. Now, first of all, I gotta ask you to slowly toss your guns on the floor. No funny business, neither. The bartender's got the itchiest trigger finger in town, huh? I'm not armed. Okay, so what are you doing here, Vito? We wasn't expecting you. I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. I heard some of your guys picked him up. Eh, yeah, maybe. What are you trying to pull? Me and Joe didn't do nothing to you. Mr. Vinci doesn't seem to think so. He wanted a few things explained to him. So that's what Joe is doing. And since you've stopped by, why don't we go and join them? And what if I don't want to? These guns say you do. But don't worry. It's got a hell of a view. Ah. Uh. Hey, what's up, Joe? The assholes went to take a leak. <sighs> Great. But can you explain to me why the fuck we're here? That old fuck Vinci can't see what's going on right in front of his face. And he thinks I can explain it to him. Idiot. Oh, the happy couple is here already. Welcome, Vito. What's going on? You got no reason to treat us like this. No reason? No reason. First, the business with Leo. And then all hell breaks out in the city. The chinks, they're going nuts. Everybody's fighting like lunatics. And now, those yellow bastards are threatening to kill me. It's out of fucking control. Now, I'm too old for this shit. So you're gonna tell me what the hell's going on here. Come on. I'm all ears. Mr. Vinci, look. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Believe me, me and Joe ain't got nothing to do with it. That ain't what I want to hear. Yeah, well, that's your problem. Because we don't know shit about any of this. That's too bad. We don't got much time. We gotta do something. All right. We'll try to break the pipe. Come on, help me out. I can't do it by myself. Okay. One, two, three! One, two, three! Again! One, two, three! Fuck you! You filthy fuck! Come on! Come on, you fuck!
that noise? You go first. I'll cover you. Where the fuck you think you're going? Hey guys! Barbara escape!
Where the fuck you think you're going?
Rangers! No, please! I got a family! You picked the wrong fucking guy, pal! Get your ass over here, Vito! Vito, they fucked me up pretty good. I think I need a doctor. Okay, let's get you over to El Greco. Get out of there! Look out! Don't shoot! Yeah. Ugh, my chest! Every time I breathe! I think they broke my damn ribs. Take it easy. El Greco's gonna fix you up. Yeah. <coughs> sure. <coughs> uh, fuck. Every time I cough, it feels like I'm being stabbed in the chest. Just sit back. The more you whine about it, the worse it's gonna be. So listen, Vito. Uh, thanks for coming after me. That almost getting yourself killed. Hey, we're in this together, right? Just like always. Now just sit the fuck back before you get blood all over my pants and I really do stab you in the chest. <coughs> oh, you picked a hell of a time to turn into a fucking comedian. Radio. Empire Bay never sounded so good, and neither did this next two. Delta Radio, EPLT, Empire Bay. I can make it. What do you want me to do with the money? Take it to Bruno. All right. At least that'll be out of the way. Good evening, gentlemen. Whoa, what happened to you? Hey, Doc. I got my ass kicked. At... <coughs> I'm coughing up what blood. What is happening today? One of your uh, guys is already here. Uh, Who? His name is Antonio Balsamo. Tony Balls? What happened to him? Somebody messed him up pretty good. Uh, I don't think uh, he's ever going to oh, walk again. What? <laughs> this surprises you? All the blood. Uh, all the death. Oh, oh, this is the lifestyle you choose. Uh, uh, One day your luck is bound to run out. Uh, the next time, it could be you. And off with the sermon, Doc. You have time to treat Joe? Yes. But you'll have to wait a minute while I fix Antonio up. That's okay, Doc. All right. Come in. Make sure you settle things with Bruno, okay? And Vito, 
Thanks. Sure thing. Feel better. News on EVLT Delta Radio. It's your old disc jockey slash news commentator slamming Sammy Stevens bringing you news from Midtown. Construction site carnage. Well, that's what the papers might call it tomorrow. Witnesses have reported the sound of automatic weapons coming from the building and at least one body falling from a high rise scaffold to the sidewalk below. Police arrived as a car was leaving the site and they are still in pursuit of that vehicle. It's safe to say that if you see some flashing lights coming from behind you, pull over and duck, baby. For EDLT Radio, I'm slamming Sammy Stevens.
Clark and Ricky Fox Show on ECNR Empire Central Radio. Hey, sorry. Watch it, asshole. Hey, I need to see Bruno. Got the money? Yeah. Come on in, then. You're lucky. We were just about to leave. Good evening. You have the money for me? Or do you wish to extend the deadline? Here it is. <laughs> I have to admit, this is somewhat of a surprise. I heard you boys had some... complications. Yeah, we did. I heard that Henry is dead. I'm very sorry to hear that. Isaac, count it. So your little business venture was a success? You got your money, right? Right, right. It's just that the whole city has been turned up. Upside down, the Chinese think the Italians attack them, so they're going after Vinci. That's not good. Not good. Would that have anything to do with the reason you borrowed this money? Sorry, Bruno. That's none of your business. Uh, thank you, Isaac. It looks like the debt is settled. I don't even know your name. Vito. Vito who? Vito Scaletta. Eh, Scaletta. I knew a Scaletta once, but I must say, you're much better at paying back your debts than he was. His poor wife had to do it for him. So it was you who lent my father the money. <laughs> your father? Ah, like father, like son. I see you don't approve, but I didn't make him borrow the money, now did I? Just like I didn't make you. If you ever need a loan, you know where to find me. <laughs> sure.
I couldn't sleep. Things were bad, and they were only gonna get worse. The truth was gonna come out sooner or later. And then we were gonna have Falcone after us along with the Chinese and Vinci. This wasn't how I imagined it when we were starting out. I dreamed of money, cars, women, respect, freedom. I guess I ended up getting all that, more or less. But along with it came prison, living in constant fear, and the blood of my friends. I ducked it as long as I could, but it was finally catching up with me. It was all just a matter of time. Yeah, hello. Vito. Yeah, it's Eddie. Uh, listen, I need you to... Let me guess. You need me to come by right away, and I should bring a gun. For once, I don't. <laughs> yeah, Carla wants to see you over at the planetarium. Did he say what it was about? No. Nope. Uh, better head over there now, though. Uh, don't want to keep the man waiting. <laughs> yeah, see you, Vito. <laughs> 